like he's very he wants a two state solution. No, it's true. That's good. But Dylan Burr was on the we were on Wick, same place, and we started talking, and he and he, atta- he started going at me. He said, "Well, in your in your religion, it says that at the end of the day, that the rock will say there's a Jewish hiding behind the rock, come and kill him." Okay, I said, so you, in, in Christian, you have the rapture. If nobody becomes a Christian, they're going to be all killed. I mean, all religion has this crazy stuff at the end. And I asked him, I said, Dylan, do you think Ukraine has the right to self-determination? He goes, yeah. And, to, and has the right to sovereignty? He goes, yeah. I said, how can you support that, but you don't support the Palestinian to self-determination uh, uh, and to uh, and to argue for their sovereignty? I think it hit him that day because I could tell he changed the, like, the way he was talking after that. Because was that a question? That was on Wix panel. How long ago was that? Oh, uh, when the, when it began, when the when the crisis began, about a month ago, a month and a half ago. Uh, oh, really? Know. Okay. Well, then you yeah. have you have more recent information than I do. I always thought he was kind of consistent. No, no. With things. No, but no. I also knew like beginning. it was just this in the beginning. Though I said I said, Dylan, listen, I do you think the the because uh, I know he's pro Ukrainian because we know we had him, me and you that interview we had. So, I don't so think I, he's Ukrainian. But, uh, no, 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 pro, pro yeah, Ukrainian. Oh, pro Ukrainian. Okay. Yeah, remember when we had that interview with him? So I said, "Do you believe that the Ukrainian have the right to self determine He goes, "Yeah." I said, well, "Why wouldn't you like that for the Palestinians?" And I think it kind of numbed him a little bit. And I think he's a fair person. The only I, I'm going to tell you who's a. Uh, um, you should reach a, out and just just ask if he wants to talk about it again. Yeah, I, I don't have no access to him like you do. I mean, if you talk to him, oh. <clears throat> is our so, DMs not open for you on tw- Twitter? No, I did. I've been DMing him. I used to DM him when he's Ukraine. I went to interview him. Remember when I used to do interviews? And he says, yes, one time. We can get a... But he used to say, well, uh, what, what time? So I'm like, he said, it's no good. Then he will not answer me like for a couple of weeks. And he answered me again. Because I think he has a lot of people on his DM. Yeah. Uh, well, I was going to uh, tell you... Um, oh, sure, I forgot. Um, I'm going to tell you who I think is a, a garbage person. Is that... um, What's his name? One of the biggest... Uh, uh, um, What's his name? You know, I have this memory with these medications I take. Um, Destiny. Now, Destiny didn't know nothing about Palestine or Israel about two months ago. He had a debate with Nick uh, Fontes and, and Rumble. He didn't know. He, he he stomped him to death. He was all looking at Wikipedia. All of a sudden, he's telling him, somebody was telling him, he said, war is a war. People get killed. People die. No. Cities don't get decimated 70%, and they're not on equal foot, and they don't have the same weapons, or they have armies. They're, the Palestinians don't have no air force or armies or navies or F-16s or F-35s or uh, United States Renaissance plane flying over Gaza and British Renaissance plane flying over Gaza. I know you got paid because in the beginning, a lot of a lot of influences on TikTok came and said, and they showed us the, the, the letters they got. They said they wanted us to... What's the word pimp to pimp for Israel? They give us two thousand dollars. They showed us like the email they got. I know he got paid bigly because I, you know, I don't think you you can be so anti-Palestinian to the point that you don't have any empathy. You're always going to have to have empathy. I will have empathy for Israeli. If an Israeli child was killed, and I'm watching, I will. Wait, are, I will, are you saying that like? There, there is evidence that people were getting paid to be pro Palestine. No, no, pro Israel. Pro Israel. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, and I think one of them is uh, what's her name, Wu, Rihanna Wu, and the second one is uh, uh what's his name? That can you her... can you send me that evidence, please? I don't have any evidence. Oh no! Oh, I thought you were. No, no, no! I'm just saying that uh, the way they 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 are defending is not normal. And like uh, Destiny, he didn't even know what Israel was to what Gaza was before the the incident happened. And Brianna Wu, and, and and what's his name? Wick. 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 When the war began, we yeah, were the, have... the way he screened blood libel at Wick or at Viv was like yeah, so yeah. scripted. Uh, like somebody had to have paid him to to go that low. I'm telling you, <laughs> uh, you know. Listen, Melanie. I I told you. Remember tell you when I look through people. I, you know, we we had a show me in it like twice. We did it twice. It didn't work out. When I saw that, he was avoiding the the guys. Uh, he put a show on people ripping out posters of those hostages in Manhattan or whatever it is. And he had a whole show for two hours and ignoring the whole situation in Gaza, what was going on, who's dying or not. And 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 in his Twitter feed, he never acknowledges anything in Gaza. Not even one thing, not even one picture. But he'll, he'll retweet that some women got stabbed in Spain. No, no, in France, maybe it was an anti-Semitic. I said, no, nah, something was wrong. And I called him out on that. 
and we, he has a whole show. I'm going to send you the link. He put a show on. They said confronting all my. They did come. I said, yeah, I did say it. I said, what the fuck? I'm not scared of you. I mean, I'm sure you, yeah, you are. I said, that's all. Yeah. And if someone like Wick or Brianna Wu, who's ruined their credibility at this point, yeah, and seems to tow paid. a party line, like a party line for Israel, for example, absolutely, we have every right to assume that that's what's up. She put one tweet when everybody was talking about her. One tweet for the oh, I don't believe the policy. Like a, a list of things. That's it. Listen, you could you could look at my my feed. I have all about Palestinian about this, and you, you'll know my position right away. You'll say, "Well, this is Omar's position. He's not hiding anything." And I and, and he got upset when I said he's getting paid. He got so upset. They had a meeting with me. They put, they put the show on Kick. It's not it's not even on YouTube. They put it on Kick, only on the Kick uh, server. And I really don't care, but I said it, and he got upset. The only thing, he's still having me back, not as a panelist, but I come in as a, one of the calls. But I, I do watch sometimes the thing. And, I, you know, when it has to do with the Palestinian, the, the first show he ever did was that, with the when, when I got uh, uh, disrespected by uh, Sladas. That's the first time he we had a free fall show. We were able to talk about everything. But before that, every time we talk, he said, no, we're getting away from the, the subject here, guys. And he'll bring us right back to something else, something stupid. You understand? And uh, this is idiotic. Anyway, listen, he this uh, right now um, about that thing, that victory and progressive. They are getting paid. They're not canvassing anything. It looks like they're having pizza and having a good time someplace in Ohio. <laughs> and there's one guy who was there, and he's one guy was Canadian there. I think somebody wrote, yo, is it this guy Canadian? What is he? Is he getting paid? <laughs> He's like uh, that's uh, anyway. Uh, 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 um, um, Melanie. Uh, sometime you know. Uh, uh, you get like um, dirtied by your action, like when he when he didn't uh do full disclosure that he was getting paid by Victory Progressive. Sometimes even you know we we like progressives, but it's good to to declare it and let people know you know so you know we know where you stand. And not have Brianna Wu on the panels and she's paying you. It's not going to be, you know, you're not going to be even. Well, well, this is why, like, this opens yeah. up the door for us to speculate that yeah. he is so pro-Israel and so scripted in his outrage. Yeah. That he might as well be paid. Melanie, the only time I ever heard the word libel, I had to go look it up. It's from him and two other Jewish guys. No, I'm not just not just libel. Libel is something that we deal with all the time on Twitter. No, no, blood libel. We, the word yeah, blood libel. Bl blood libel is particularly a crazy thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I had to look it up. It has to do with Christian children, whatever. You know who called me that? An Israeli guy who 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 got on online with me from Israel. You know why he said that? Because I said that uh, the Akanazi Jews are not. Native to the region because they were, they're from Ukraine. That's blood libel. I said, what a blood libel? I said, what the hell is blood libel? He goes, then I want to look it up. I said, what? Then he comes and says it. I said, God damn, Rick, you got to be Jewish, Rick, man. Tell the truth, man. Nobody's going to say that. That's like an old accusation, like from the 18th, from the 19th century. I mean, what it has to do with that lady uh, was saying, she was insane. She was talking about the journalist uh, building. I know she made a mistake as soon as she said that people got killed. I knew, so I'm up to. I knew nobody got killed because it's they, they. It's it's it almost like when you look at the definition, you think, is this was this another satanic panic that just happened yeah. in the middle, like overseas? Yeah. I mean, he's weird. He's weird. I mean, he's strange. I don't know. He doesn't dress right, and he had a GoFundMe. You know, the president Sunday likes to or they get he he got donated three thousand to fix his teeth. He never did. They have a lot of shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and look, like you know, I, I like to, you know, I like about them sometimes. I see a lot of things about him, and he he takes it in a stride. Like I really said, a lot of crazy thing, and he had me the other day, and, and he kicked me off the the panel. He, he, you don't know that he kicked me off. Uh, he always does that. And so, but it's okay. They're they're very insecure. Yeah, uh, that, insecure. that's that's a big thing. Is that they're very insecure. Yeah. Um, and and look, uh, with the Israel thing, like. I'm not going to deny that Jews have intergenerational trauma from the Holocaust. Yeah. There's no reason to deny that. But we've also yeah. seen from individual cases throughout the internet of people weaponizing their trauma yeah. and how that gets abused, right? Yeah. So let's let's just consider for a second, maybe if enough people with this intergenerational trauma get together, and, yeah. and I'm not saying like this is a Jewish conspiracy or anything. This is just yeah. simply human dynamics. Yeah. And and they 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 have a common enemy that they just have to like uh, 
you know, all vent together and grieve together towards, they eventually mm -hmm. weaponize their trauma against that group of people. And then someone like Omar, who's just yeah. trying to argue for human rights, gets accused of blood libel. Yeah. He goes, and, oh, like, I don't I don't know about the Ashkenazi Jew fact. Um, it's not. Uh, they're, I, I, they're, they're, they're from Ukraine. They still visit every year. Uh, that, that, could, that could very well be true. But that's just the sort of thing where, like, I uh, personally would never run that risk because I'm not good with with uh, yeah, yeah, political I, history. And if I was wrong, then it I'm wouldn't be helping me escape those allegations. But as long as you're confident in that, that that's true, then that's that's what matters. I, I, that's as long as you be, didn't get it from a Nazi, right? No, no, this is going to be your homework. You can look it up right now while we're talking. They are from, uh, Azar, I forgot the uh, Azari. They were converts. And they become they were good at you know they were converts. I think I heard about this a bit actually. Does, okay, look at me. Does Netanyahu how me, me does me and you me and Netanyahu look like the same? Uh, I don't know because uh, I don't. He's Polish. We don't look the same. Okay, I just I didn't know who that was. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, the the prime minister, the Israeli, the, the you know these two these two classes of uh, people don't know there's a dynamic inside Israel. There's racism. You know that uh, I, I did I tell you that they uh, they were sterilizing the the, the Ethiopian women. Did I tell you that or no? Yeah, and like the racism is 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 mostly around Zionism, right? It's it's about having like this almost like purity culture, like they want like Aryanism or something. Yeah, not only is Zionism, there's there's racism in Zionism because the Arab Jews are second class citizens inside Israel. Even when you look at the government makeup, there's no there's not a lot of people who are like uh, there's only one guy. He's a fucking nut job. Excuse my language, Ben Gavir. But uh, most of the people in the power structure are mostly European Jews. Most of the Yemenis and Egyptian Jews and Arab Jews are from the region as second class citizens. They don't hold real power. There has never been a prime minister from that. Uh, and they're not the minority. They're almost the majority. They're not